no! Son of a f Can you imagine if this happened to you? It felt like I was living in a system that's designed to keep me average. I was not satisfied and I'm not willing to get stuck just like that. Whoa, where does that come from? What are we looking at today? Well, the guy's Mr. Money talking about middle income trap. Have you ever felt this way? You're not rich, you're not poor, you can afford the basics in life, but you can't live the life that you've always wanted. Damn right, feeling that all the time. Living expenses are constantly increasing and you are just catching up with expenses. You feel like a mouse on a wheel. Life is just getting nowhere. This is the middle income trap. Used to, but not anymore. Huh? How come eh? Now, this is the formula. It all starts with the fear of having no money. So what we do, we go to work. So you work really hard, and at the end of the month, what happens? You get paid, so this pay should eliminate the fear of having no money. Right, that if you were to think logically. But what happens is our emotion, desire kicks in. And now, we imagine what can we buy with the money. All the cool things we can get. We spend that money, and we are back at fear. And that cycle is called the rat race. So. You try to stop it and you work harder. What happens? You increase your pay, problem solved. But with increased pay comes increased desire. More spending, more debt, which then highlights, again, the fear of having no money. So here's the escape plan. First, remove pay from the cycle. It's no longer connected to work. Work smarter, create assets. Now, don't give in to your emotion. Don't act on your desire. Your assets increase your pay and then your pay goes into more assets, growing your pay by working less and eliminating your fear. Is this making any sense? If yes, Give me a like button below. Thank you very much. I first felt this frustration when I started calculating how much it would cost me to live the lifestyle I wanted. Nothing grand or luxurious, just a family of two cars, living in the city, and maybe a holiday once a year. And I quickly realized that it will easily cost me about 180,000 ringgit a year. What? What? Blah, 15,000 a month. Cheese but the bar. Nothing grand or luxurious. Wow. Hui. Hui. Clearly first world's problem. At the time, as a fresh graduate, my salary was just 2,500 ringgit, which is 30,000 a year. I thought to myself, probably after working for a while, I might get that. 2,500 per month is what I started with too, many years back. Decent enough as a fresh graduate la. Not like when you become a senior executive as Astro. So I talked to some of my senior colleagues and I quickly realized that most of them don't even come close to 100,000 ringgit salary a year. And only some of the leaders have that kind of income. Now let me calculate. 2,005 to 15,000 is around 9% salary increment every year for the next 20 years. Now it's not linear actually. You get like double digits when you got a promotion or when you do a jump motion into another company. Oh man, that is depressing. Who says it's not true la? I got clients ah, before they reach 30 ah, they're already earning like 200, 300,000 per year. You just need to know where to low And if you are still not being paid as much It's a number one sign You are not in a high paying industry So you change industry So I decided to learn from people who are successful I learned two things that helped me escape the middle income trap The first skill is the skill of critical thinking Why you think so much? So tiring Just follow the instruction, right? Correct or not? Ha, you see, you see your attitude like this How to earn higher? How to get promoted? Huh? What's wrong with you? And that's why we have the education system. It is supposed to nurture our ability to think critically. But somehow, this skill is severely lacking amongst Malaysians. Ah yeah, yeah, see ma, my old man teach me, don't talk so much, don't rock the boat. Just be a yes man. Not asking you to always whine and complain. You are taking this out of context. Don't want to offend people ma. Plus I'm an introvert, just mind my own business la, you know, clock in, clock out, 9 to 5. You got endless excuses, don't you? You work in a big company, if you are not visible by being vocal and speaking up, you won't get anywhere in your income and in your position, cause people don't know you. That's the reality. A clue. What went wrong? Since the 80s, Malaysia has been a manufacturing hub for the world, providing cheap labour to global brand owners to manufacture their product according to their instruction. Just follow the instruction and do it cheap. That's the motto of the business of manufacturing. Because of that, Malaysian system has always been producing low-skilled workers who are doers, not thinkers. As long as they can follow instruction, that's good enough. In multinational companies, there's really a big difference when you work with your local colleague versus your counterpart in more developed countries like US or UK. I can definitely attest to that, having worked in multiple mul multinational companies myself while I was still an engineer and you know your overseas counterpart they are the one who always do this designing kind of work and the front end kind of work which is really high value job scope but the low value back end uh, tasks like the manufacturing and the planning the logistic side of things of the supply chain is always outsourced to Asian countries like you know China or even Malaysia Indonesia and, and even Vietnam now certain countries like Vietnam they are becoming more competitive for all these US UK companies because these countries are like 
like Vietnam, they are probably becoming cheaper to hire labor intensive people to do the labor intensive assembly and production jobs. And this is pretty much reflected in our education system as well. Xinjiang, our students are encouraged to just follow the system and not question anything. Critical thinking is the basis of all innovation and invention. It is the basis of problem solving. Remember that phase in your life when you were an annoying kid, always asking that question, why, 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 all day long? That's the process of developing the ability to think critically. <laughs> Oh, that's really a good one. Crack me up too, being a father of a kindy going kid. However, having the skill of critical thinking alone is not enough. Have you met people who are all talk but no action? We don't like them, do we? Yeah la, like the people in my department are hi yo. I was working as an engineer in a multinational company for seven years. And this is what I feel when I was talking to the project manager. Can nine women deliver one baby in one month? And this is what the production manager tell me. Hey, one woman can deliver nine, nine baby in nine months, right? If she works harder. And this is what I feel when I was talking to the documentation manager. Uh, I don't really care whether I got baby or not. I just need to get it documented. And this is what I feel when I was talking to the finance manager. Hey, can you deliver a baby without a man and a woman? Uh? Can or not? Can or not? And this is what I feel when I was talking to the HR, human resource department. Uh, can you get two monkeys to deliver one human baby? Uh? Can, right? Am I right? If yes, leave a comment below. I think he missed this. You must be both a thinker and a doer, plus a vision for the future as well. You combine all this together, then you got the perfect package. But the next skill is what sets you apart from the others. It is what makes your ideas effective compared to others. The skill to execute ideas. Actually, better be lazy smart. Bill Gates say it one. Yeah, yeah, if you are born single, it's not your fault. If you die, divorce is your fault. Ha. Huh. We can't change the past of how we are brought up, but we can change our future with the right ingredient. So, develop your ability to identify the needs of the market through critical thinking and learn the skills to execute your idea to fill the need. Then, you have much higher chance of getting out of the middle income trap. Hey, what's up guys? You bugger just come right on time. We are talking about you. You are the root cause of our misery. You hoard all the wealth. Should tax you more. Whoa, hold on. What is this about? Why are you venting your anger on me? Hey, we don't get much benefits from the government or anyone. And the B40 don't get taxed because they don't earn enough. You guys get taxed like a slap on the wrist. Hiya. Don't you agree with what I just said? I had enough of your complaint. I had enough of this. I'm leaving. Tax the rich more, you say? <laughs> Bro, our income comes from net worth generating passive dividend. Those are not taxable. And oh, we focus on cash flow, not assets value. Our tax accountants and financial advisors help us do smart tax planning. We maximize our tax deduction the moment we receive our income. And we convert our active income to productive assets efficiently, immediately. How can you tax us more? Bro and sis, are you getting this or not? What? Just got my stimulus check from the government. Huh, finally can get that big STV. Hey guys, what do I miss? Ayoyo.